after a successful road trip out east, it's back to the comforts of home for the St. Louis Blues. Up tonight, their only hiccup on the trip, the New Jersey Devils, who handed the Blues their most lopsided loss of the season. Can the Blues get revenge tonight? Find out next. And a big crowd expected at Scott Trade Center as the Blues play five of the next six. Here in St. Louis, our Dom starting goaltender, Jaroslav Alok, 6-1-1 one one in his last eight starts. And he'll be opposed by Corey Schneider, who beat the Blues last week 7-1. He is 4-0-2 in his last seven appearances. And the living legend, Marty Brodeur, gets the night off today. He played the first two periods in that 7-3 loss against the Rangers. Blues hockey is brought to you by Bud Light. It's the sure sign of a good time. Here we go. As Gionta, right off the faceoff, moves in as high sticked, I believe, by Polak. And Tim Peel, the referee, checks for blood. As both clubs begin their fourth lines, Gionta, Bernier, and Carter against the Blues' fourth line. And here's the call. St. Louis penalty, number 46, two minutes, high sticking. This came off a funny bounce. The puck caromed off the partition in a funny way. And you can see that Roman Pollock's just trying to lift the stick of the smaller Gianta, and it just clips the visor, maybe the beak of Gianta. Yeah, the Devils went three for four against the Blues in that 7-1 win, and a shot by Zivlitsky blocked. And then Bruner comes in. Blues have it, can't clear it. Out high now for Yager. And Yager darts in. And St. Jack in front. Trying to get it to St. Jack. That was blocked by Petrangelo. And it comes up the middle and at the line. And now they rule it did come to center ice. Much to the chagrin of Merrick Zidlitsky. Well, the interesting thing about Yarmer Yager, and I was with him in the locker room today, and I, I put his stick and match it up with my height. I'm, I'm missing about two feet. <laughs> it is that long, and I know I'm only five foot, what, four and a half, but that is one long twig, so it's hard when you say keep him on the backhand or keep him to a certain side. It's hard because he's so big and strong, and he protects the puck so well. He is 6'3", 230. Devils power play, ranked ninth at 20%. As the Devils race in, here's Michael Ryder. Back on the line to Green. And then Jelen, the rookie defenseman, who scored the seventh goal in last week's win, trying to hold it in. He had a good all-round game, though, besides that goal, and I talked to him about it today. He said he could throw a 10 pucks out there. That'll never happen again, but he was a good, solid player in that last game. And now Jelen with it. Passes across, and a shot rebound. Ryder with it. That's blocked in front, I believe, by Jackman. And now back to the rookie defenseman, Jelen, once again on this Devils power play. In for Green in front. That shot wide. And now the Devils wraparound try and a save by Halak. On that wraparound attempt there by Green. And another block by Shattenkirk. Otherwise, that might have been in the open side of the net. Short side. And now Ryan Klo, the longtime Shark. Handed on to Jelena. Pass in front. Backhander wide. Ryder missed the goal. Blues don't clear it. Oh, boy. 17 to go in the power play. Ryder for Klo. Across the seam now to Jelena. Lines up a drive. That was blocked, I think, by the blocker of Halak and finally cleared down the ice. Yaroslav Halak really came out to challenge that shot and got his blocker on that one. He was very aggressive. He had a hard time moving side to side on a play before that. Got a real big break with Shattenkirk blocking the shot. And the Blues are back at full strength. The Devils with two shots. Whoa. And the Blues have now killed 10 in a row. And now Magnus Payarvi, who was a healthy scratch in the win on Long Island. He is on with Bergman and Oshi. Those were huge blocks, uh, boy, I tell you from this angle here down, guys. Uh, there's a lot of good scoring chances that have been up blocked. And a shot by Jacob Josephson into the glove of Halak. A lot of times when you start the hockey game, especially after a little bit of a road trip on the PK, you, you really do put the work boots on. There's block, shot block number one. Here's number two right here. And then Jackman has number three right there. Got, got his right toe on it with a beautiful two-pad slide. And then Shattenkirk on the other side of the ice blocks what appeared from our angle anyway to be a sure goal on the short side. As Polak works it up the board down for Jaden Schwartz. On with Bacchus. 
Then Steen. And then Bruner down low for Eliash. And against fellow Czech Republic player Polak. And the Blues win that battle. And here they come. A devil player fell down. And Paul races in to the front to Steen. And just off his stick. And the Devils have numbers the other way. Led by Eliash. Can't get around Bacchus. With a very good defensive play. But now he lost it to Zubris. And Dinah Zubris fan on the shot. And now it's picked up again by the Blues captain. And a three on two. For Schwartz. To Steen right in front. He scores! hockey leads to this three on two break and the captain David Backus in his own zone separates the Devils from the puck and it goes the other way but there's the play defensively by Backus he helps out Ian Cole now he's going to drive hard to the net and he backs the D off and that allows a nice little lane there to pass the puck over to Alexander Steen high under the bar blocker side a perfect shot from Steen One hundred goal as a St. Louis Blue. His twenty seventh of the year, and the goal at three twenty five, and that is the classic three on two executed by the Blues. And now Brendan Morrow there. Who needs practice, huh, fellas? <laughs> Alexander Steen, no practice yesterday, no practice today. Now it's lap the air on with Stewart and Morrow. As the Devils get it back, Steven Gianta. Shattenkirk trying to hold it in. Schwartz and Backus get the assists. And the Blues have the first goal. And when they score first, there's 29, 1 and 3. Tarasenko in for Sabuka. And at the line, that is just offside. Well, before this gets any further, We'll take it out of our Toyota keys to the game. Toyota, let's go places, but play heavy with strong, strong play on the puck because that's what New Jersey did to the Blues the last game and plenty of traffic on Schneider. Well, that bodes well, fellas, because I think there was a little traffic right there with that snipe by Steiner. Well, that's as Johnny said, though, that's classic uh, three-on-two. Drive the center net by Bacchus as he made the pass and Steen comes off the boards and... You know, he does it. What a shot, though. Wow. That, that left-hand shot going against the grain yep. to the high blocker, yep. that's the new shot of the NHL, and it's a wicked one, huh? Well, you know, he pulls it in, changes the angle. I mean, that's right up underneath the bar. You can't get that any better. You can't. I don't know if you could even stop that thing, anybody. No, I agree. Me, yeah, I know I could. <laughs> <laughs> Devils are high. Play with it. And up go to the line for Michael Ryder. Shot right on goal. Oh, saved by Hawaii. So it's goal number 100 as a Blue and 150 in his NHL career for Steen. And now the Blues fire it down the ice. Well, for Alexander Steen, I, I think what, what Bernie talks about is, is really important to know. He changes the angle by bringing the puck back into his skates there and then goes back against the grain on the stick side. So the goalie's going to have to move a little bit. He's going to have to collapse that blocker just a little bit and just enough so that it can graze over top of the right elbow of Corey Schneider. And a drive from the line by Mark Fade, who scored the Devils' first goal in that 7-1 victory. That's kicked away by Halak and now Bolmeister. That pass under the skate of Tarasenko down the ice, but no icing. After I watched Dean shoot it even every day in practice, uh, I can't believe that his the highest goal total is 24 coming into this year. It is just phenomenal the way he shoots it, guys. He should be a 50 goal scorer every year the way he shoots it. And fourth drop one down low into Greenback. Now for Fane. And that is lobbed to center ice and a race for it. Joseph in the suite against Jackman. And Jackman with some very good composure there. And now on to Bacchus. Hook one for Jackman. And that's off a stick it is. Over blue, Bryce Salvador. And then the doubles captain reverses. Now on to Bruner. Bacchus in there creating some havoc. And the puck at the line now squirts to center ice. There's Bacchus to drive it right back in. Ha havoc. He nearly took Dinah Zubris' head off right there. <laughs> if he got any part of him. 
And a shot by Bruner is wide. He played in Detroit last year, did the youngster Bruner, who's on the Swiss Olympic team. Now it's Oshie, knocked down. And then Piarvi can't move any further. And the Devils at center ice. Boy, the Blues are playing a tough game so far. Not giving the Devils much room at all. And now the Blues ice it. Blues well, join us in celebrating the 10 Blues players competing in the Olympics by purchasing a Sochi 10-game pack. Choose 10 games that fit your schedule and also receive playoff ticket purchase priority. Call us now at 622-BLUE. As Cole wins the puck to the corner. After Bergen won the draw, the puck fired down the ice. Oshie again showing up. And a good four check there by Oshie. And he was knocked down by Jelena. Roy comes in along with Sabonka. And they work it for Yoshi. No stick. Kicks it back to Bowmeister. Now to Petrangelo. Hot shot wide by about a foot. And back to center ice. And just trying to go against the grain to the stick side right there. Good shot selection, but just missed by Petrangelo. And now the Blues are offside. And we get a stoppage in play. 12.40 left in the first period. Steen scores his 27th. one nothing Blues. Well, the player to watch defensively is this guy right here. And that would be David Backus. And watch what he does in his own zone. Helping out his D. Cole. Bang. Separate the man from the puck. And now it ends up going north from here. But this is the three-on-two that we're talking about here. It's in numbers now. We're going to stop it here if we can. And David Backus' job is to go right there. And then you see the play from behind there by Steen. And watch this develop. Good pass by Schwartz. A phenomenal shot under the bar and in. Perfectly executed at both ends of the ice. Now the Devils got caught there with three four checkers, and Zubers was so tired he couldn't get back. He was trying hard, but he was not coming back good. And this goes out of play, and they're going to rule it was tipped. You know, one thing Ken Hitchcock talked to us before the game that he feels the Blues need to play better defensively. He said they haven't outchanced the opponent eight games ago against Vancouver. The last time they did that, that was on January 10th in a 2-1 loss. And basically every game, Darren, the chances have been about even. And he wants that to change. Yeah, in that game, they, the Blues did end up having 32 shots on goal and lost the game to the backup goaltender, Eddie Lack, in Vancouver. Who played very well, though we have to say that. He did play very well. Now a lock for Petrangelo. And then Yager trying to keep it in. Puck in front of oh, Petrangelo. Didn't see the devil player Zajac behind him. And now Petrangelo gets it again. The shots are 4-2 for the Devils for the Blues lead on a steam goal. Now Schwartz for Bullmeister. And ahead to Steen. And that dump in goes to Steen again. A shot. And now back at the hard pass in front. Turned away by the Devils. Shattenkirk on the attack. What a trip he had to New York. Game winner at the Garden and then the shootout game winner on Long Island. And David Backus got him the puck from that win at MSG. That's a keeper. Just up a Ranger fan. But not an easy couple of games. I talked to Shattenkirk about it yesterday. And Bernie, you know what that's like, setting up tickets, getting your family organized. It's, it's a thrill to have it and be there, but there's a lot of other stress that goes along with it. He was glad, really, that it was so successful based on all the things that he did. And a drive by Sabotka after Tarasenko set him up. Now Sabotka again, and that's off a stick and out of play. That was a hard shot by Sabotka off the shoulder of Schneider. Incredibly hard shot. He got it right in the wheelhouse, and the two Vladdies are really lighting it up right now for the Blues. In, in terms of what they're doing, their last 10 games together, it has been special. He got a lot on that one there. Might have glanced off the blade a little bit, dropped a little bit, and by that time, it's only a quick reaction there by Corey Schneider. And now Sabotka against Adam Henrique. Sabotka wins it. Now for Cole, that shot blocked. And Ryan Cole gets it out. Not pressed tonight for the Blues. Coley Octavo, Leopold, and Ryan Reeves. And the Blues are completely healthy. And picked up by Polak. 
And pulled the lanes a bit. That pass tipped out of midair, and Michael Ryder right back in. He's got to go more, a little more firmly than that when you're the last man back trying to pass the puck across the green like that. But his partner, Roman Polak, is going to step in right here as it gets a little physical in the corner. I mentioned the, the Vladdies. I mean, the last 10 games combined, they've combined for seven goals and 10 assists and 48 shots, not to mention 20 hits. But uh, here's the play right here with Ian Cole moving up the ice, up the ice. He's got one. Nope, not the left. I'm going to go to the far side, and it just doesn't get through, and that allows the turnover to happen. But the good news is for Ian Cole that the Blues were back in numbers. It was a one-on-three at that point. And then Cole gives Tarasenko a shot, and that's why Polak came in. That's why he's a former Shark. You don't you don't open up that, that door, that number 46 door. The right, Cole should know that. But that's where the door was open again for the Sharks in the playoffs. There's the Blues. Have it at the line and now grabbed by Petrangelo. Up for Bergman. Look, this one on to center ice now for Oshie. He in Pig Arbor's goal on the attack. And Oshie gets it back on the goal. A takeoff there for the Devils. Petrangelo. And he pinches in and holds it in. Now PRB again in traffic. At the line, Petrangelo walks the line. A drive, rebound, Bergman, a shot. And Schneider made a good save on that one. And a good forecheck there by Bergman. Well, Jacob puts it high. And this goes by Bowmeister all the way down. And icing called against the Devils. Well, that's the line we talked about before the game with PRV. Not deserving to be a scratch in the game on Long Island, but that's the way she goes in the game of hockey. He comes back here with a good attitude, and we're looking for a, a big night from Payarvi on the left. As you take a look from our Plaza Tire Service replay, that shot goes off the skate of Volchenkov, the rebound's there, and that's where Berglund swatted at it. That was a good save, too, by Schneider, too. Good reaction, says, but he, he had some room there. Now it is up here, working down low with Morrow. Stewart works in front, and they tried to get it to him. That was blocked by Zubris, and now will take off the center ice. And then jabbed in by Bruder, and the Devils make a change on the fly. Shattenkirk ahead off the stick of Stewart, and it stays in the zone. Now Gionta after it, in there with Steve Bernier, and Gionta feeds the point man Zivitsky. That shot hit a skate, rather. Off of Moro. And now a drive from the other point by Salvador right on. Saved by Halak. And then Zimlitsky again winds up. Little slap pass intended for Gianta. And finally fired to center ice. Off a of devil in on goal. And Schneider, the former Vancouver first rounder, sets it up. And now Salvador, look out! He's hit by Bacchus. Oh, former teammates. And they both spun around. <laughs> you can see that one coming from here. Heavy high speed collision right there. And now Zidlitsky once again. Up an open wing for Carter. And Ryan Carter gets it in. Carter played well in that last game in New Jersey. He had a goal. He got a good good fourth line. He played well. Now the Devils reloading at center ice. Sajak down his off wing. Can't get it by Polak. And then Cole tips it up the board. Andy Green held it in for the Devils. And then the Yager working on Ian Cole. And then Yager gets it free. In front, can't get a shot. And then a drive from the right point by Fain was blocked. And it stays in the zone. Now Yager again, a pass up the middle between everybody and back down the ice. No one's surprised, though, when it's there's 900 guys behind the net and number 68 comes out with the puck. <laughs> he just has... Such great hands, even getting pucks out of skates and what have you, and drags that out of there and then makes a play from behind the net. He is, as you said, one of the best ever at protecting the puck with that huge wingspan. And huge legs. Huge, huge butt. <laughs> and really, you know what, I think the only two other players that, that you could say that was maybe Mario Lemieux, and if you go back to, you know, Eric Lindros. Yeah. Huge guys that had so much skill. And that will blows into Trangelo. And a giveaway by Tarasenko. Henrik with it. And that was blocked by Petrangelo. And then Salvador chops it. And that's cleaned up by Zidlitsky. Bernie on the bench. Are they talking at all about the turnovers? They've had a couple of sloppy, mismanaged plays here. 
Yeah, they're, they're, you know what? They're not letting the game come to them. They're really trying to force some plays. And drive by Berglund. May have kissed the goalpost after it hit the shoulder of Steiner. What a shot there by Berglund, who hasn't scored in eight games. Yeah, that beat him clean. That was right off the pipe and back out. And now back, Jared Jackman back to the Blues. 6.35 to go in the first period. Alexander Steen has the only goal. That center. Center, center broke his stick on that pass there. And now he will go back to play one without a stick. Here's a drive by Green. That goes well high. And now Shattenkirk gets a stick from Oshie. And then Jackman with it. The puck may have gone out of play here. And we get a stoppage. Oh, Berglund almost made it 2-0. Off the arm and then the goalposts. One of our great cameramen, Mark Grifford's son, Matt, is right there. He's in attendance, taking this all in. Great crowd again on hand here at Scott Trade Center. And when you look at last week for Kevin Shattenkirk, the New York native, that uh, never played a professional game at Madison Square Garden, let alone the new billion-dollar renovation that they had there. So he scores the game winner there, and then scores the game-deciding shootout goal on Long Island. And you saw him look up to the crowd there. That's where all his group yeah. was sitting, right in that section. You know, John, I'm glad you brought that up because I didn't realize, because I had talked to his mother and his brother had come down from the section to talk to me, and I didn't realize that he did that after he scored the goal. I just noticed that on the replay, which is pretty classy. Well, you're getting hugs from mom, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I was watching the goal go in. I wasn't watching his reaction. Look out here. Bernier stolen from Cole. And a great save by Halak with a shoulder Oof. as Bernier tried to tie the game. That's when it's a bouncing puck like that. It's a 50-50 it's a gamble trying to play that with your blade. And it nearly cost Ian Cole in the Blues right there. And that pass, I think, hit the linesman. It didn't go all the way down. That would have been an icing call. Now the Blues at center. Here's Schwartz in for Bacchus. Then he barges to the corner. Pass in front. Steen turns for Petrangelo. That drive. Where'd that go? Off something and out of play, I believe. As the Devils almost tie the game. It's 1-0 St. Louis. And they did not go to a timeout here on the ice, so we are back to 1-0 for the Blues. As the Devils race in, now Petrangelo. Back defensively with Bowmeister. And then Fain at the line. And that comes around. Josephson, the native of Stockholm, Sweden. Zajac in front. And then Yager in a tight area. That pass tipped a bit by a devil. And it goes in toward Halak. And now we'll take a break with Blues leading by a goal. And during the TV timeout, the fans at Scott Trade are honoring Dan Gierdorf, a legend who is retiring after a great career in the broadcast booth. And uh, on hand tonight, a former Blues broadcaster is Dan Gierdorf. Worked a little with your late father, did he not? Yeah, on hockey and football. Hockey and, uh, and football. What a great man and what a tremendously talented broadcaster. Oh, Bernie, the boys over at Boone Valley are going to enjoy more and more time with Dan. Absolutely. I mean, I don't know if there's a more witty person in the world. Well, what a fine, fine gentleman. One or two more cigars will be had down there. <laughs> yeah, he's a good cut girl, too. He does a good job with the uh, beverages. <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> and what a player he was, a former All-Pro with the big red. And congratulations again to Mr. Deardorff on a great career. As Yager twists at his own line, runs into Bacchus, but Yager keeps his composure and keeps the puck. And then Bacchus goes... After the devil player, that was slow, and Bacchus gets up rather slowly right in front of you, Bernie. And now Bowmeister goes right over to Ryan Klo. Trangelo Zidlitsky over there as well. You would expect this. I, I mean, this is, a, this is a game in which the Blues want retribution. It was an embarrassing night in New Jersey. There is no doubt about that. Our Plaza Tire Service replay shows number 68, Yager, and close behind is number 42. And you see Bacchus gets up there against Ryan Clough, and they just get shoved right down to the ice. But Bacchus has been the one player on the Blues that has been the most prominent on the physical side of it. 
Oh, that was three hits on that chip, wasn't it? Yep. He's, <laughs> and, got have, uh, he's got to have five or six already. <laughs> and that's a hard man to hit, as Yager at 235, as you said. And the puck slides to center ice. 350 left here in the first period. Shots 8 six for the Devils, but the Blues let a steam goal lead it. And it's back to the goal for Garrett Roy. On the line to Jack with a shot and a save by Schneider. And then Salvador. And a fight off a four check. It comes in front as Roy tipped it in the slot. And now the Devils move the other way. Adam Henrique. And he turns it to the corner. Good read there by Roy. And then for Tara Seiko coming off a two-goal game in New York against the Islanders. And a very good defensive position there by Derek Roy. It's like he knew exactly where that puck was going to end up, and he was in the right spot. And speaking of the right spot, there's Oshie at center ice. He blocks a pass. Now in for PRB, drops it off to Bergman. Bergman a shot. And that was blocked in the double defense, I think, by Volchenkov. Now PRB back on the goal. Spins away from Volchenkov. And does another move, and he draws a penalty here. It's going to be against the Devils, so props for Magnus Payarvi to be strong in the puck there. And good speed crossing the blue line, but you also have to have hockey sense. And Magnus Payarvi, with Volchenkov going off now for holding, he drops it back here. He gets Jelena to go to him. He gives Berglund a little bit more time and space. Although this got blocked by Volchenkov, Volchenkov follows through. Payarvi stops on a dime here and then cuts back again. By this time now, Tim Peel, the referee, had made the call with the left arm of Volchenkov on the left side of the body of Magnus Payarvi. Tim Peel and Denny LaRue are the referees tonight. The Blues on the power play for the first time tonight. Tim Peel's son, Bronson, got cut today. Eight stitches. Poor little and fella. He's, he's a young guy. Yeah. Wide open in front. And a shot wide by Bacchus. To the line again, Shattenkirk Bacchus. Again, pulls the trigger. And Schneider, a good read, got over. It made a good save. I would have safe to say that on this penalty kill by New Jersey, they swarm one side of the ice, but look at the left side of the ice. Uh oh Mark Fain had kind of lost sight of where David Backus was, although he missed the net, but he gets another crack at it as well. Mm. Carbon copy. <laughs> Carbon yeah. copy there. Yeah, did he fade away a little further on that second one? Yeah, a little bit, but he got better wood on the second one, and he actually got it on net. So I think that first one, if he had got it on net, it might have went in. His power play was 0 for 3. In that 7-1 loss in New Jersey, but overall the Blues ranked second on the power play, 23.6%. And the Devils are the second best penalty killing team at 87%. And the Devils power play, they were pretty phenomenal. They they scored three goals in that white loss. Yeah, three for four. Not a white loss, bro. It was a beating. 7-1. <laughs> it wasn't fun. Now the pass to center. Here comes Oshie in for Steve. Pass trickles in front. And then taken by Shattenkirk. 40 gone to the power play. And now for the captain again. To Oshie. And he knows his job is to get right to the front of the net. And a drive by Shattenkirk. And that did not get through the maze of players in front. And fired down the ice. Backus, by the way, leads the Blues with seven power play goals. And you see that Backus has it in the, in the corner, the, the hash marks, and that's where the playmaker sets up shots. Backus was waiting for Oshie to get there so that Backus could go to the front of the net. And now wait for it. Supposed to wrap up Salvador. And then it comes free. And then back to work for Angelo. Savoca settles it back on the goal. And away from Salvador. Handed on to Tarasenko. And he delays. Whoops. It over. Back on the line to Bowmeister. And then Petrangelo. Down low now to Schwartz. In front. Tarasenko with it a drive. And that was blocked by Salvador. Good set up there. Yeah, better block too. And then for Sabotka. 15 to go in the power play. Sabotka back for Bowmeister. Final minute now in the period. Petrangelo lets it go. And again, it's blocked this time by Green. And the Devils to center ice. And Ryan Carter fires it wide. So a couple of big blocks there by the Devils. 
Blues only one shot on goal. Yeah, just like the power play that the Devils had right off the hop in the first 10 seconds of the game, the Blues had three or four great shot blocks. Well, Bruner ahead for Elliott. Here's Pollock with 30 seconds left in the period. Long pass, Stewart trying to get around the defense. It rolls in on goal, and it's covered by Schneider. And we'll get a face-off deep in the double zone. Well, Corey Schneider didn't get to face Tarasenko in the last game. Tarasenko wasn't in the lineup for that one. And here, he doesn't get to face this shot because his defenseman and captain, Bryce Salvador, the former blue, goes down and perfectly executes that shot block. But goalies around the league, they know about Vladdy Tarasenko and the release that he has. And the Blues win the faceoff. Jack with a shot, got through, and a pass saved by Schneider. And now Jaden Schwartz for Pollock. Tipped along the end boards now for Steen. And then back to Jackman. And that hits some traffic on the way through. And now it comes to center. And then Jackman put it back in and hit his own man, Steen. And it's easy for you to lap, but that hurt. Steen's all, he's just trying to exit the zone. <laughs> and all Jackman's trying to do is wait for a little bit of time and just rip it in the zone and, and, and get into the locker room so this period would end. Oh. It was a wrist shot, though. It was a wrist shot. And it was it was Jack's. He doesn't shoot it that hard. It's not Tarasenko's shot. That's... <laughs> not Al not McGinnis back there. Is that what you're saying? Yes. And that is the end of one. So Steen with a goal and a block late in the period. And the Blues out shoot the Devils 9-8. So a good first period of hockey. Both goaltenders were very sharp. One period in the books in St. Louis, and the Blues up by a goal. Had a good crowd on hand tonight at Scott Trade. The Blues on an Alexander Steen goal with a one to nothing lead. John and Darren back in the broadcast. Good, what are you laughing about? Well, that guy was giving us a thumbs up. I oh. thought he'd give us a Don right. Cherry, I tell right. you and stuff, thumbs up kind of thing. Could you give a thumbs up to the Berglund line in that first period? There is no question. We talked about the Berglund line to begin this hockey game because of the changes. Obviously, Ryan Reeves, a healthy scratch. Chris Stewart goes on the fourth line with Max Lafayette and Brendan Morrow. But tonight, you look at the speed of Magnus Payarvi, and you look at the hunting down the puck of Berglund. Berglund had the good chance that we just showed just a second ago. Then this one here on the short side nearly went in. Good drop pass and decision by Payarvi. This one gets blocked, but Payarvi follows it up and ends up causing uh, Anton Volchenkov, the defenseman, to take a minor penalty for holding just because of the dogged pursuit of the puck by the Swede Magnus Payarvi. And we begin the second period at full strength. The Blues on home ice this year, 18-5-2. Set for action, Blues Hockey is brought to you by Bud Light. It's the sure sign of a good time. Here we go. I got it. I got it. And the Blues win the faceoff and dump it in. Skyder plays it for Salvador up the middle, cut off by Lapierre shot. And that was blocked before it got on Schneider. They blocked a lot of shots. They get sticks in a lot of lanes. So a lot of times when you think you've got a clear shot, in comes a puck on, stick on puck or a shin pad or what have you. This one's going to be icing here. You know, Hitchcock felt that the Devils were the biggest team the Blues have faced this year. And you see the numbers with leading after one. But uh, he thought they're bigger than the Kings and the Ducks. Yeah, he did. And I, and I talked to Pete DeMoore, the head coach of the New Jersey Devils, and I mean, he said, we've got great size forwards. And when we're healthy, which they were for the first time in that game last week in New Jersey, they are strong on their sticks. They're a heavy group down low. They're a good hockey team. And a shot by Fain goes wide. And the puck at the line kept in. He saw Pete DeBoer in his third year behind the Devil bench. And a drive by Ryder. And that's caught by Halak. DeBoer's assistants are a couple of former Blues. Dave Barr and Scott Stevens, in addition to former NHLer Mike Felino, who's up in the press box. Well, when you think of the New Jersey Devils, only two years ago they were in the finals with Kovalchuk, Parise, and Clarkson. And all three of those 
phenomenal hockey players left, and there is nothing in return. <laughs> yeah, Kovalchuk went to the KHL, and then the other two walked. And a long pass, and that's offside as Steen was behind Green, but we get the whistle. And that's what makes it tough for guys like Alexander Steen and the Blues to play against this New Jersey Devil Club. They're stingy defensively. They block a lot of shots. They're, they're good core groups that have only averaged 25.6 shots allowed per game. That's the fewest in the National Hockey League. And, Pedro, I don't, I don't disagree with you very often, but I like the fact that Parise and Kovalchuk as phenomenal players, but Clarkson, eh. Yeah. You know, I said it, and it came out, and I was, and nothing away from Darren, no. not, nothing away from David Clarkson, Clarkson but, yeah, but not, not, no. same, not the same. Uh, no, the other two are very, very impactful players. Yes. He was just a big part of the room and the character in which they played. But, uh, yeah, no, you're, you're, you're right. And uh, Lou Lamorello, the president and general manager, took over the team in 1987. And he was, managed this team to their first playoffs when they beat Chicago at the Chicago Stadium in overtime. And there's plenty of history with this man in the St. Louis Blues, Scott Stevens. With a face off a shot by Petrangelo. And that hit a skate in front. And then played off the glass by Green. Now Zajac for Josephson. And that was dumped in wide of Halak. He tees it up for Bowmeister. And ahead for Steen, who has scored the only goal tonight. Now for Schwartz. That wrister hit a leg goes wide. And then Zivitsky for Salvador. And then moved along by Dinah Zubris. And that rolls down the ice. Jackson lets it go. Picked up by Bowmeister. And then Schwartz jams it off the boards. That's going to go on goal. So no icing. No, just hit the right, right toe and then the side of the net on Corey Schneider nullifying that icing. And then a pass to center picked off by Jackman. And then tipped back in there by Backus. Here's Roy after it, but Elias gets it back. He had two goals the other day in that 7-3 loss at Yankee Stadium. And then Bruner to center ice. Behind Zubris. And then floated back in by Shattenkirk. Good hit back of the goal. Sabotka tried to center one. That was blocked. And now it's Sabotka again for Tarasenko. Back of line, Shattenkirk a drive. That's off a stick, and where is it? In the corner, hit the glass, I guess. And now the puck to center ice. Now Shattenkirk for Roy, right back in. Down low for Sabotka. And then Tarasenko comes in. Knocked away from him, but recovered by Roy. To the line, but that's off a stick and back to center. One extra move trying to get around Ryan Carter. And that just changed the angle enough that uh, Roman Pollock was sliding towards the middle of the ice. Oh, Steiner can't play that, and Piarvi swoops in and almost banked it off the pad of the double goaltender. Outside and of the trapezoid, he was stuck. Yeah, he was caught in no man's land. And now Salvador gets away from Oshie. Up the middle, that goes by everybody. And all the way down for Icy. Close call right there. We saw that with the Blues. Yaroslav Block getting caught a, a little while ago. And oops, now you're kind of stuck there. But Payarby's trying to get that to Oshi. But I, I tell you what, that's a reverse butterfly right there by Schneider. And he did a phenomenal job of controlling his right pad and not knocking it back into the net against Magnus Payarby. Yeah, real smart play by Payarby, too, because Salvador went, was already on the far post. And there's no way he could have stuffed it. So that, that was a great play there. And off the faceoff, Pollock. And then down the boards for Pay Arby. For Bergman. Bergman trying to muscle the puck in front. Blocked by the stick of Schneider. And then Carter jams it off the boards. This goes all the way down once again. An icy call. Well, Hall Yuri wraps up Friday night and Toyota Blues Live. Brett Hall shares stories and reflects on his time here in St. Louis. Toyota Blues Live Friday at 5.30, followed by the Blues and Hurricanes at 6 on Fox Sports Midwest. Brett Hull doing a great job here in the business offices of Scott Trade Center. And it's always good to see a smiling face around Scott Trade. And off the faceoff, LaPierre. In there with Stewart. And then Stewart trying to jump by Gianta. And then Morrow helps out to the other side for Shattenkirk. 
And then Shattenkirk watched closely by Carter. Now to Morrow. Trying to get the puck to the front. And again, it's Shattenkirk at the line. And again, he holds it in. Salvador tries the right wing boards. Stewart was there. Now Zidlitsky. And he gets it off. Jackman to center in a race. And Carter comes in for the Devils. Here's Carter. Puck in front. And then another pass, maybe one too many, intended for Gianta. And now Gianta feeds the deep slot to Jelena. And then down low to Clough. And that's off a stick and taken by Schalter. At the line, but kept in by Volchenkov. Well, Jackman up the wing again to Stewart. He'll tip one, and this does come to center ice. Shots in the game are 9-9. Here are the Devils into the zone. It's close. And a drive, tip just wide. Right out of midair by Ryder. He's got great hand-eye coordination. Nearly batted that one in. And I think that would have counted. And now Bullmeister for Tarasenko. Nice play off the boards to Jackman. And he delays, tipped by Morrow, who's been on the ice for a long time here. Can't make a change. And now the Devils and Reek at the line. For Elliott. And his shot. Bad save by Halak. Rebound taken by Jackson. Now for Bolmeister. Long pass to center ice. Tarasenko. Offended, but gets back on his skates rather quickly. And then Sabotka goes down rather awkwardly. Here are the Devils coming in. It's Elias. Gets by the hip check of Bolmeister. And now leaves it down low for Yager. And the 41-year-old a shot. Tipped by a blue stick to the corner. And then Jackson hit by Volchenkov. Devils have the only two shots in this period. And some good forechecking here. And Yager gets it back. Yager with it a drive. Hit a leg. Maybe off Derek Roy and Y. And then Tarasenko off the boards and out. But a real push here by the Devils. And then Jackman hoists one to center ice. And now Jelena ahead for Yager. That's blocked by Bullmeister. To his partner Petrangelo. And then intended for Schwartz. He did touch this, so no icing. Constant flow here. Now back is in front. Oh, Schwartz a pass down low. In front to Steen. One chance and a save by Schneider. And now Steen again. Long wrist shot. Hit a body and it goes out of play in the corner. And we get a break with the Blues leading 1-0. The the Alexander Steen has scored the only goal as they salute the service member of the game, Richard Ewers. And they're on their feet at Scott Trey. And there he is, right in the middle of your picture. It's great seeing the players on both sides respond, fans on their feet in appreciation for what our service men and women do. Keep this great country safe. Not just this great country. For many great countries. Right. Now it's Bacchus. On the Schwartz. And Steen. Bacchus rolls into the zone. Wide open is Ian Cole. Here's Cole. Bank play off the boards. And now Steen back of the cage. And Steen goes high again. Oh, pack the pull lock. And a good read there by Cole to break it up. And Steen goes for a skate back in his own zone. Here he comes again. Chopped away by Henry. And then Cole puts it off the boards. And then it's played by Cole. Now Roman Pollock to center ice. Blues trying to make a change. It's dumped in. Schneider sets it up for Zidlitsky. And then Cole on his horse to center ice. Slowed up a bit. Bomeister will turn it back on goal for Petrangelo. Shots are 2-2 in this period. Petrangelo rifles it in. And then Zielinski steers one of the corner for Salvador. And a good four check by Oshie. In front. Berkman is wide open. Oh. And that shot blocked by Schneider. What a play by Oshie. Good pass against the green like he did. Caught everybody by surprise. There's a little Magic Johnson right there looking one way. And then pulling it hard against the green. And Berglund nearly had one on the short side. And then Salvador hard pass to Bruner. Through center ice. And then the Devils delay a bit, and that is an offside. 
Well, Alexander Steen had the puck a couple of times there. And before we get to that one, this is the play by Oshie looking one way and getting it through the skates of the defenseman. Zidlitsky there. This is before the break where Steen on the forehand tries to jam it through the legs of Schneider not once but twice. Tries to get the third one but Volchenkov's all over him. And yeah, the Blues control the face off. Jackman on the lap here now for Shattenker. And then down the board. Lapierre is after it along with Stewart but they can't get it. And the puck sports to center ice. Oh, good hit. And a two on one now. Stewart in. With Lapierre, Stewart a shot and a pass saved by Schneider. And that's Stewart's best chance tonight. That's his best chance in a little while. That's a real good scoring chance. He tried to go back against it to the stick side. Thought he had some room there. That's an excellent save. And now Stewart again a shot up high. And a shoulder save by Schneider. And then the puck lobbed to center ice by Gionta. And then Shackenkirk back pedals a bit. Here's partner Jackman. And that's tipped at center. And then Tarasenko on the ice. Can't find it. And the doubles turn the other way. Now on to Yager. In for Zajac. Zajac comes in a drive. Blocked by Shattenkirk. That goes high. And into the netting. Now yeah, faceoff will be inside to the left of Yaroslav Halak. It went off the stick of of uh, Kevin Shattenkirk. Shattenkirk does a good job of separating Carter from the puck, and then there is Brendan Moore as well, taking away Gionta. That allows Stewart to get a little space here. Oh, going against the grain, nearly got it between that old seven hole between the blocker and the side of the body. And then he had another chance right after that. So two good scoring chances for Chris Stewart. Who hasn't scored in eight games. Devils win the faceoff. Zidlitsky a drive, that was wide. Hit it for Yager on the doorstep, and now Bacchus lobs it down the ice. And this will result in nice heat call against the Blues. Trying to lead Steen to that puck, trying to feather it ahead of him, but Steen just couldn't get there. You've got to give Steen plenty of credit. Hasn't had a lot of practice time with that toe injury that he's had. Here's that second chance by Stewart. Tries to go again to the blocker side. And Steen scored high over the blocker, the only goal scored so far in this game. I think Green got a piece of that one there. That, yeah, that's why it went high. I'm great. But it's a different shot from a right-hander as compared to a left-hander. I think we're talking yep. a little bit about the way that Steen changed the angle on his wrister as compared to a right-hander trying to go over there on the blocker. Now it's Yager. That pass blocked. Now another attempt by Yager. That's cleaned up by Bacchus. And away Jaden Schwartz to the devil line. With Bacchus. And they try to muscle the way into the... Devil zone, that was blocked, and Zajac with some room at center ice, now for Yager, trying to cut to the middle, and that pass blocked by Steen, and taken by Schwartz, funneled ahead to Steen, and he snaps it in and goes off on a line change. And now Schneider tees it up back of the goal for Andy Green. Long pass to center ice. Ryder tips this one. Pollock, the first man back. And then four players converge behind the Blues goal. Knocked away by Pollock. Here's Green. He'll drop it off to close. And then read well by Tarasenko. Played on to Pollock. Now it's Boca on the boards. He is pressured there by Mark Fain. Pollock gets it. And Pollock into Roy. Derek Roy. Snaps a shot and a glove save by Corey Schneider. Just past the midway point of the game, and the Blues still leading by one. There's not a lot of flow to this game. Is that kind of what you expect out of the Jersey Devils to be a real tight checking game tonight? Wow, they're playing really patient. Both teams are playing patient right now. You know, I, I think there's been a lot of just abouts. I think, I think the next goal, Bernie, is going to be huge, and hopefully it's for us. But the next goal is going to is going to set the tempo one way or the other. So we we'll, we got to just stay on task here. We've got some chances, not a lot of second ones. We just got to stay on task. That's Hitch. Yeah, and the one thing that Hitch told us before the game that he was impressed with New Jersey in that last game is how good they were on the point of attack. So they get to the puck, they swarm, they get to one side of the ice rather quickly and put pressure on you. Yeah, they lost to the Rangers in Sunday's matinee at Yankee Stadium. Here's Green back in his own zone. Shots in this period, 5-2 for the Blues. And 14-10 for the game, favoring the St. Louis Club. Now it's Bergman getting a drop pass. 
He works in. Got in too tight. Now Bergman for Shattenkirk. Trying to walk the line. And a wrist shot. And that goes just wide. And then Bergier gets it onto center ice. Jackman now for Payarby. And he'll toss one to the corner. And the Blues make a change on the fly here. Zelitsky ahead for Bernier. And then floated along by Gianta. And then turning oh. Petrangelo wide open at center is Oshi. And that's off the mark, or he could have been in cold turkey. That yeah. puck got away from Petrangelo. He's so dependable on that kind of pass. And then Bollmeister almost got himself in some trouble there with a bouncing puck, but he made a good play in Schwartz. He'll dart it. Jaden Schwartz, a shot. And that's blocked by Jelena. And it goes way high into the netting. We're talking about the flow of the game, but the one thing that you got to keep in mind here is we let this roll for a second is the defensive coverage of the Blues. And we stop it here if we can. And you got one, two, three, four, five in excellent position defensively. And look what happens at the end of it. There's David Backus. He gets the puck in the own zone, and they are out and running, going the other way. That's a five-man pack mentality inside the top of the circles. And that's what we did not see last Tuesday in New Jersey. We saw three guys back, but no one taking any bodies, and uh, the Jersey Devils uh, scored a bunch of goals because of misplace uh, by, by discovered by the Blues in their own zone. And they scored a lot of goals off the rush in that game, and the Blues have been much better in that area. Now it's Zajac getting the puck in, Bolmeister. Trying to skate away from Yager. Here's Petrangelo. Christine not out of the zone, though. And then Yager hooks one back to the corner. And then Elias to Yager. At the line, Fane with it. Fane on the pass. Jaden Schwartz manages to get the puck to center ice recovered by Yager. Now Yager for Elias. And chip it by Petrangelo. And then Bacchus helps out. And now he's playing. Now it comes to center ice for Schwartz. In with Steen. And they crisscross. They jack back in front of his own goal. Lobs one up the right wing side. And it's covered nicely there by Ryan Klo. Klo drops it off for Ryder. A shot hit a leg just missed. That was a tricky one. And then jumping in the drive and a pass saved by Halak. And now Morrill grabs it back in the Blues goal. For Roland Kolak. And that high hoister to center ice. Rubbed down by Bochenkov. He comes back in. And Cole takes cover back on the goal. For Polak. At the line. Kept in by Mochenkov. Now Cole off the wall. A shot. Cole gets it again. And Morrill came over and made a good defensive play in the Blues to center ice. LaPierre. Backhand's one behind the double goal. You can see the mission of LaPierre getting that puck in north. No fooling around. Just inside the blue line of the opposition. Get it in deep. And let Stewart on that right side go hunt it down. Now it is dumped in deep. Chester reverses down to Jackson. Long pass to center ice for Moore. And he gets it in with 6.05 to go. Oh, hit the line in the second right. period. You know what, John? It hit the linesman right there. Otherwise, Stewart's in. And now Bruner threw his legs on Chester to the line. Salvador. That pass across to Zidlitsky. And he moves in for a shot. Doesn't take it. Wraparound attempt and a save by Halak with his right pass. And Stewart to center ice. And they're going to call. No, they wave it off. No, oh. last second. One lineman said icy, the other one didn't blow the whistle. Yeah, I thought they were going to for sure call it icy. And the Devils race in. Josephson, a shot. Oh, saved by Halak. On that chest high drive by Josephson. One nothing the Blues in the lead here. And we want to congratulate Blues equipment man Bert Godin. A lot of games in pro hockey. 2,200 to be exact. His favorite game was game seven in Phoenix when the Blues scored in overtime to win the series on a tip-in goal by Pierre Turgeon. He said the biggest character he's ever dealt with in pro hockey, Mark Bergen, the former Blue, now with Montreal as their GM. He said he used to have to bring a gimmick bag on the road for Mark Bergen with all his wigs and glasses and things like that. A gimmick bag, part of his... That's Arsenal. Great, great accomplishment. Certainly by Burt. A great man. Great at what he does. Oh, good There's save right really there. Good save there by Yaro Halak on that back end. And, uh, you know, we showed Yaromir Yager earlier in 1998 when the Czech Republic won the Olympic. They won Olympic gold the first time NHLers were there. Burt was working for Easton. They had a separate skate sharpening area behind the lockers. And 
after Yager's trainer, Stevie Latin, of the Pittsburgh Penguins, he was with Team USA, they lost out. Steve left, and, and Yager told me today, he said, I was so worried that I wasn't going to be able to get my skates done the right way. He hovered above Bert. Well, Bert did his skates, get ready for the gold medal game, and obviously Bert did a great job because Yager went on to a gold medal. You know, guys, if he's sharp at every player's skates, at every game he works, that would be 44,000 skate sharpenings in his career. That's a lot of work. Oh. Wow. That drive by Fane goes wide. 44,000. They have the jittery hands doing that job. Here's a three-on-one for the Blues. Sabota walks in. Sabota waits, shoots, and hit the ball post. Didn't go in. Hit the post. Beat him cleanly to the stick side. Didn't go in. And this goes all the way down. The ice covered by Halakis. Sajak was in for the Devils. Alex Petrangelo was flying through the middle. I think he wasn't sure if he was going to get that pass back or not. Tusimokas left is Petrangelo. A clean shot. A great shot. 18 inches right there above the ice, above the pad, below the blocker. And it's a perfectly executed shot, only to be denied by the post. There's room there. You can see that Schneider had slid over a little bit, overcompensating on the short side. And that just rang off the pipe. Left-handed shot again going to the right spot. He yep. did it in the first period, and that was a great shot. And I mean, he didn't see it. Otherwise, he might have got his own rebound as it came off that post. But uh, he was blocked out by Schneider because I didn't even see it come out until it was already quartz, almost in the corner. Well, Corey Hurst, the goaltending coach of the St. Louis Blues, does a great job of preparing the players in terms of how many goals go in in certain areas against that goaltender. And you just monitor those little things and you give the players some information. And the, the players that want that information, they, they, they fire away. There's Bernie in the shot. And that was blocked at the defense and now taken by Cole. Two devils around him. And then Bergman helps out for Payarby. And off a stick it out. 4-10 to go in the second period. And this is tipped out of play by Gianta, and we get a whistle. Join us next Tuesday to watch the Blues take on the Senators, and all fans in attendance will receive a poster commemorating the 10 Blues headed to Sochi, presented by Fry Wagner. Great seats are still available for this game for as low as $35. Visit stlouisblues.com to get your seats today. That USA sweater looked like a replica 1980. The Miracle on Ice. Jimmy Craig. Mike Ruzioni. Herb Brooks. It looks like a Ruzioni right there. Yes, it does. But it's Bacchus. It's 42. And a power play here for the Blues. Ryan Close is going to go off. Little hook off the faceoff. And he gets that stick up high on Steen, taking him down slightly. Although Steen doesn't go all the way down, it knocks him off balance. Goes 0 for 1 with one shot. Big power play here, late in the second. And the Devils work at free. Zubris follows it down the ice. So once again, you have the second best power play against the second best penalty killing unit. It's Steen now for Roy. Dropped off the back. Three devils around him. And it stays in the zone, but now Salvador turns. And off the boards and out. And without Steen practicing, Carlo Koliakbo, left-hand shot, have been taking the place of Steen, at least mimicking the power play, left-hand shot. So Koliakbo gets some work in the practice on that power play. Now Steen back for Oshie. Oshie across Shattenkirk. And that one-timer was well wide, maybe a pass, I'm not sure. How many inches wide did that have been, John? Well, it was about 14 feet and 3 inches. <laughs> Here's Bacchus in the corner. Salvador trying to pry it free. Steen at the line. And now walks the line into Shattenkirk. He got in too tight. Dealt back to Steen. And then Ferrochi across the seam of Shattenkirk. A shot. And that was blocked by Henrique. And remember, the Devils blocked the water shot for the last power play attempt for the Blues. And then Oshie gets it again. 35 to go in the advantage. Oshie back on the line to Steen. Steen fires it. Blocked by Henrique. That's a great penalty kill. Job by Adam Henrique. A real, I mean, smart. Put himself in a good position. Although I'm sure Steen would want that last attempt back. 
Now the puck hops to center ice. Sabotka. Trying to make a move. Gionta gets it back. And then ahead to Eliash. Into Gionta. Short-handed bid. And he's pulled down by Petrangelo. And a power play will be coming up for the Devils in six seconds. That was a heck of a pass, though, by Eliash. A great pass between the skate blade and the stick. St. Louis, number 27, minor penalty tripping. He's nullifying a quality scoring chance there by Gionta. Gionta makes the play to the left. Keep your eye on 11, driving hard there. And you can see the stick blade, it looked like, maybe get, gets underneath there on Gionta. Or was Gionta going down even before that? Yeah, I think from that angle, Tanger looked like he was going down. Uh, uh, Petrangelo did argue it, and I could see why he argued it there yeah. with the replay. So four on four for six seconds. And then that was a power play. Two minutes for a trip. Pass to Zajac. Flow is out of the box, so the Devils on their second power play chance tonight. Down by one. Jackman works Yager over in the corner. And then Polak pins Zajac. And the puck got three by Bergman. Some good work down low. And behind the play, it's Jackman and Yager. And the Blues committed a shot by Bergman wide and off the glass and now over the glass. And Yager, or rather Polak, having words with a devil. And now Yager wants to get a jackpot. That started in the corner. Continues on. Yager gets knocked down. You can see the snow on the left side of his pants. Yager's always had those socks dragged low, draped over the, over the skates like that. Pretty unique. Not many players have it like that. And here's the, the battle behind. One good little whack right there. A little whack and hack. Good defending there by Jackman. And now he's going to push him here a little bit. He's going to lift up and push him. And, and there. And then he then he pulls him back right there and then gives him another little shove. And at this point here, the Blues were going the other way. Referee Dennis LaRue let them play on while the play was going all the way down. Those are the kind of battles that... that uh, Barrett Jackman thrives on, cherishes those one-on-one -on -one battles. Those discreet little cross-check nudges from behind, right on the back of the pants. And somewhere in Scott Craig, Bob Flager is smiling. <laughs> Hole number five. 120 left in the Devils' power play. See the strength of Yager, too. That you see why this, this guy is still trains at his age of 42 with a 40-pound weight vest. And a shot on the Blues goal. Block makes that save on Henrik. Now Henrik gets it again. On this double power play to Jelena. In tight for Green. And he tried to feed one through the slot. That was blocked. Now Jelena has it out high. Fires it. Glove saved by Halak. But he couldn't close the glove. And it stays in play. Henrik now to Jelena. Final minute now in the period. Back is a good check. A hawk around the boards. Not clear. And then Henrik again. Puck keep, keeps coming to number 22, Jelena on the left point. And he has a bomb. It's green at the line. Jelena lets it go. And that hits something, went high into the netting. Yeah, Jay Bowmeister was right there, and so was Adam Henrik. But Jelena does a great job of not only providing composure on that point, but his distribution's good, his shot is hard. He's going to be a terrific defenseman. This one's good. This one's heating up. Those are some good chances, too, on the power play. And the Blues in a 1-0 game. As Ken Hitchcock told Bernie, that next goal is absolutely huge in this game. Here's the hard blast through traffic. And it catch right on the bottom part of the glove of Halak. You want that one in the webbing. But sometimes it's just hard to track it. This one here glances off somebody. Maybe the shaft of the stick of Bowmeister before going over top. Must have hit a devil because it the puck is out yeah. of play. Yeah. That's a hard shot, too. Now, he, he, he gets some lumber on that thing. Yeah, he did. I was just looking. Sorry, Bernie and Jackman and, and Yager were lined up. You don't often say that in anticipation of anything. But I thought they were having words again. This is stolen by Oshie with 20 to go in the power play. In the final 25 of the, first, or the second period. And now Yager winds up at his own line. Yager a pass. Blocked by Oshie. Good read. And then Oshie backhands it just too far for LaPierre. And a turning Zidlitsky finds Zinja. 
Here comes Zajac. Devils had two shots of the power play. Yager, quick drive, and that goes wide. And another shot. Hit a leg. And that's going to do it. So a scoreless second period. Good setup late, though. That just glances off the stick of Yager, just wide to the stick side on that man, Yarmir Yager. The Blues outshot in that second period. 10 to 5. But the Blues lead 1-0. Let's go to Pat. JK, thank you very much from the Bud Light Zone uh, with the Blues leading at one nothing after two periods coming up on the Jack in the Box Intermission Report. We're going to talk to Patrick Berglund, who's played a pretty good hockey game tonight, had a great scoring chance in the first period. We'll have all the second period highlights with Bernie Federico helping me break it all down, plus our dirt cheap shot. All that and more coming up on the Jack in the Box Intermission Report. What a tight checking, hard hitting entertaining game tonight here at Scott Trade Center and that one goal lead holding up so far for the Blues through two periods. Stay with us. It is a tight one to see the least at Scott Trade Center as the Blues enjoy a one to nothing lead. Steen's goal back in the first period. Jonathan Garen back in the broadcast booth and how about the play of Yarrow Halak who entering tonight's action and won his last three. He had a terrific road trip. I mean, going into Joe Louis Arena, he was really, really sharp. And keep in mind how active the boards are there. And then, he, you know, obviously the game in New Jersey was a debacle and a bunch of bad luck all the way around. But then New York and on the island, he was very sharp. In this game here, it's a penalty kill right on the hop. This one glances off his shoulder from Bernier. Through traffic here, he gets his blocker down just above his pad. A tricky shot. So although he's only faced 14 shots, he's had a high number of quality chances against. And when you look at the goal support, look at Brian Elliott. He's second in the NHL ranking at 3.61. Yarrow gets 3.17. No surprise that they're two of the top goal scorer of the game. But look at the New Jersey Devils. Boy, do they struggle scoring goals, especially for Corey Schneider. They've only averaged 1.78 goals for per game and here he is again in a one nothing deficit amazing how that works it's working that way right now with the los angeles kings that can't score goals and there's the legend marty broder okay. who's win leading after two 23 0 and three the devils with trailing 5 15 and three I was just going to say that that's with the seven goals that the Jersey Devils scored the other night against the Blues at 1.78. It was worse than that before that for the goal support I for, left, for Schneider. I left the math for you, Bernie, <laughs> and that is... I think is what, I, if, if I recall when uh, when uh, the Blues were there one. last week, I think it was 1.57 thing. I, think. I, I, I do agree with you there. But this is one of the, this type of game is a scary game. And even we saw that at the end of the second period, you know, with, with plenty of chances on the power play, New Jersey had some quality chances on Yarrow. And 1-1 uh, game, you, you need that second goal. First goal scored in games is around 67% to the winner. But you need to score that second one. Yeah, that's why that goal post that Sabotka hit late in the period is so big. Devils offside here. I mentioned the Blues have lost only five games at home in regulation. And Darren, all five have come to California teams. Yeah. Yeah, we certainly Missouri has struggled against California. New Jersey's a long way away from California. I mean, they saw them enough in the finals and a couple of years ago. Yeah, they won that in six games, I believe, the Stanley Cup final. That's chopped in towards Schneider. And off the glass now to Klo. And recovered by Shattenkirk. And he'll drop it right back in there. It's Oshie on his knees against Zidlitsky. And the puck's for three to Salvador. And the former Blue gets it around now for Klo. And handed on to Adam Henrique. Here he comes, up the middle. But Piarvi on the back check. Lobs one the other way. Oh, and a penalty coming called up. on the Blues. Here's a drive by Jelena. Tipped in front. Devils get the goaltender Schneider off for the extra man. And now it's touched by Tarasenko. And a hooky minor. Yeah, Oshie's going to go, guys. I yeah. believe it was Oshie at the back check. Yeah, it was at the end of the shift. Coming back in his own zone. 
Number 74, minor penalty hooking. Third power play of the game for the Devils of New Jersey. The man with the A on his sweater will go off for hooking, and he's one of the primary penalty killers for the Blues. You see that stick is up around the right hand there of Henrique. And keep in mind, Brad Shaw, the associate coach that runs the defense for the Blues, and the penalty kill, of course. He is not on the bench. He has been run down with the flu, had to leave after the first period. Ray Bennett's running the D the remainder of the way here. Devils 0 for 2 tonight had scored six goals in their previous four games on the power play. Now it's Bruner on for Eliash. That's blocked by Sabotka and now moved ahead by Schwartz. Big and short-handed goal and a drive on goal and a pass saved by Schneider. One of the things that impressed me about Schwartz is not just his reads, but his release without having it hit a stick and deflect out of harm's way. He always gets him through. And Yager doesn't get, get this one through. Jackman blocked it. His nemesis tonight. Now the puck squirts back to the line and kept in by Green. Off the wall, it's Eliash. To the front, Zajac. Quick shot blocked out of Bruner. Oh. And a right pad saved by Halak on Bruner. And then Green gets it out high. Too far for Eliash. Jackman with it. And off the boards and down the ice. And Jackman has quietly put together an exceptional game. Especially below the hash marks. Especially going up against 68, Yarmir Yager. And now 35 to go in Oshie's minor. As the Devils reload in their own zone. Henrique for Jelena. Back to Henrique. And his pass. A bad one. Turned the other way by Bo Meester. And the other guy to watch is that Brunner. Damian Brunner's got a quick release. Had a goal and two assists in that last game in New Jersey. And there Yarrow made some good save with his right pad. He had a dozen goals last year in Detroit. Now the puck comes back to the line. And then Claude tried to hook one across to Jelena. And that one's broken up by Bacchus. And that's going to do it. The Devils now 0 for 3. One shot on that power play. Ryder gets it into the zone. And a shot blocked by Polak. Ends up on the near side. Oshie there. Along with Sabotka. And then Oshie flies it high. And this goes all the way down. Not far enough for Icy. And now the Blues can make a wholesale change. Then Mark Fain, their fifth round pick in 05. Here's Fain up the middle, a shot. And again, it's blocked. That one by Pollock. And taken by Shattenkirk back of the goal. The Blues 11 blocked shots through two periods. And they've blocked a couple more here in the third. As Shattenkirk comes in. And a slow roller is scooped up by Schneider. And we get a whistle. Kelly Killen has been strong right off the hop of this hockey game. In the first 20 seconds of the game, minor penalty. Good play by Jackman. Actually, he goes down, and, and he ends up playing it towards Brunner. A good save by the goaltender. Here's that shot by Schwartz just over the stick of Zidlitsky, trying to go five-hole. Good save and positioning by the goaltender, Corey Schneider. And now LaPierre on the faceoff against Steven Gianta. And the puck to center off the skate of Petrangelo, recovered by Bollmeister, but kept in by Bernier. Now Bernier to Carter. Good read there by Petrangelo. Boy, they support each other well, don't they? Yeah, 19 and 27. They have, they have become quite the pair on the defense for the Blues. And now it's Bollmeister again. Knocked it away from Gianta. LaPierre back defensively. Now ahead to Morrow. Trying to hit Stewart at center ice. That goes too high and too far. And we get the icing call. Well, join us at Scott Trade on February 6th for student night as the Blues take on the Boston Bruins. Get tickets for as low as $22 with a valid ID at the Ford box office or visit stlouisblues.com slash tickets for details. Well, good interference there by Bollmeister on Yager trying to get to that loose puck right off the faceoff. And now Eliash for Yager trying to spin away from Lafayette. Another stop and start move by Yager. Gets in front and a backhander and a save by Halak. What a move there by the 41 year old Yager. Well, Yager, the left hand shot, always playing the right side and good at changing and shifting direction. 
So it's tough to defend on that part of it. But off the faceoff here, keep your eye on Yager, who's going to try to go through. I thought here the play was dead because of Bowmeister. Bowmeister did a great job against him, but keep your eye on 68. He bounces off the one, and then it continues on. And for the faceoff, Eliasha shot, and that nibbles off the right pad of Halak. Another shot by Green. Halak may have gotten a piece of that. And Shattenkirk up the boards. New Jersey starting to really funnel pucks from the sharp angles at the feet of Halak. That's where your defensemen have to be real sharp on pucks that carry them off the pad or the stick of the goaltender. Now Jackman for the captain, Bacchus. And that dump in off the boards for Steen. And he waited too long to shoot it. And Yager bounces back into the blue zone. Now Yager in front. And a great back check there by Bacchus. And the Blues have numbers the other way, led by Steen. For Schwartz. Up the middle, and the Devils get back and close ranks on Sh Schwartz, rather, and he can't get a shot. Comes to center ice to pull up, and he'll feather one back to the corner, and it's Salvador there for Klo, and he'll march to center ice. Devils are changing. Well, Chekhov can't get it. Here comes Oshi. He works in, waits, oh. and he waited too long and couldn't get a shot through. He didn't know whether he was going to leave it for Bergman or keep it himself. I've got it. You take it. <laughs> and now Ryder. Michael Ryder at the line. Blues break it up. Comes to center. Now Klo gets it. And he winds it around the boards. In the area of Oshie. And he was upended. Jacobson turns there for the Devils. Or rather Josephson. And the puck on the wall for Jelena. And the rookie gets it in tight. Now to Ryder. For Klo. To the line of drive. And that's tipped. Just wide of the goal by Josephson. And then Polak under some pressure. They'll play one to Cole. Got a push going on here by the Devils. As they have really activated their defense in the offensive zone. And now Bergwin through the neutral zone. Waits for his mates to change and dumps it in. Schneider plays it. And now for Jelena. He almost waited too long there. And then Gianta to Zubras, and he is bumped. Good open ice hit there by Sabotka. Tough being a goaltender, the partner of Marty Berder, when Marty can play the puck the way he does. And now a hand pass from one devil to another. I'm now for a Bonarito Automotive Sports update. The Blues play at Carolina Friday tonight. The Canes in Montreal, all Canadians in this one match. Pack already with his second, I should say 22nd of the season. Montreal makes it 3 0, and that's the finals. Carolina's four game winning streak comes to an end. J.K. Panger, Hall of Famer, will see them on Friday. Yeah, they had a great come from behind win last night against Columbus, but that is a tough back to back. Flying into Montreal. Blues win the faceoff. Tarasenko a shot, and that goes wide. And Patch Reddy will be joining David Backus, T.J. Oshie, and Kevin Shattenkirk as part of the USA Olympic team. There is Cole down low now for his partner Polak. There's that double defense again, but Zivinsky can't get it. And then Polak and Zubras in a battle. Knocked away from the pack by Sabotka. And he gets the puck in for Derek Roy. Roy fakes it. Tarasenko in front. Oh, drive and a save by Schneider. And the puck back to the slot. What a setup there. And it's held in by Cole. And what a save by Schneider. On a point. Blank chance for Tarasenko. Now a pass. Sabotka, he wheels in for Tarasenko. Fakes it. In a goal. A shot. That's wide. Another chance. And Schwartz is denied by Schneider. Oh, two great chances again. That other than Sabotka hitting the post in the second period, there have been very few chances with this extremely talented line. These are their best scoring chances here. Tarasenko, nifty little play. Salvador will go to the penalty box. Good face-off win by Sabotka. Results in the first chance. The second one here, good save with the blocker of the right pad. And here's the fake delay by Tarasenko. Brings it to the forehand, just misses. But the rebound comes out and right on the doorstep. And a shot denied right there by Corey Schneider, keeping the Devils in this one. But well, the Devils get a penalty. Salvador gone for tripping. The Blues 0 for 2. It's Shattenkirk. Big power play here for the Blues, who lead by one. Steen is the only goal back in the first period. Roy to Steen. Winds up and fires it. And a pad save by Schneider. What a and pass by Derek Roy. That's a tough pass to make. It was confident. 
And now back of the goal, Zajac gets away from the pressure. And then backhands it all the way down the ice. Blues have been out, shot 21-19, but lead by one. The Blues are 16-4 this year when being out shot, which is an amazing number. That bounces in on Schneider and tipped away by Zubris. But recovered at center ice by Roy. Gian Giannto is maybe off to the races there. He was, yes, he was. He was Banger. thinking hey, about it. Ooh. Bernie, he overhandled it a little bit and, and, and double swatted it. Yep, he was trying to stick handle instead of just uh, go ahead and bang it a little bit and lead yourself, but he tried to stick handle and toss it. Well, Shattenkirk for Berglund. Devils line up at the line, and the Blues go offside. I think Morrow on left wing was offside. Well, let's go back to that pass we're talking about here. When, when, you, when you look at this pass here, let, let this roll for a second here, and I'm going to show you that, that, and Bernie, you can speak with the difficulty, that kind of pass. He sees the seam. If he hesitates for a second, it's, it's going to be blocked, stick in the lane. It was perfectly timed by Derek Roy. Great play. And off the faceoff, Henrik darts it. In front of shot, Petrangelo blocked it off the stick of Eliash on a quick developing two-on-one. Now Petrangelo for Bomeister. 40 left in the power play. Schneider can't block it. Picked up by Bergwin. He wheels around the goal and looks out high to Bomeister for Petrangelo. One-timer got through. And a save again by Schneider. And then Bergwin after it. Stewart in the corner with Morrow. Out high to Bowmeister, winds up, shoots, he scores! And may have been tipped in by Morrow on a power play goal! That's a key goal there, key goal, as Bowmeister brings it from the right boards to the middle of the ice. Good, quick play. Right here, good step out. Keep your eye on number 10 in front there. And he knocks the puck down. It's going to be in the goalie's mitt. But you can see that puck's going up, and then it ends up down. This is a perfect redirection by the veteran Brendan Morrow, part of Canada's Olympic gold back in 2010. Ah, uh, the old guy still got some good mitts, doesn't he? Well done by Brendan Morrow. A backhand redirection to knock it down. His first goal in 12 games, eighth of the year. And the power play goal at 9.42 makes it 2-0. That is a heck of a tip. Now the Blues intercept in the slot, but Tick Tarasenko forgot the puck and the Devils the other way. Shipped along by Zidlitsky. And now it goes to the corner, so the penalty to Salvador is costly. As Bo Meester and Bergwin get the assist on the goal by Boro, his eighth. Here's Thane, his pass to center. Blocked. And then the Army can't, or Steen can't make a play. The Devils come back with Yager. The Carter drive right on goal and a save by Yaro Halak on Ryan Carter. What a tip in by Boro to make a 2 0 move. Well, Devils winger Yarmor Yaga remembers Vladimir Tarasenko well from their days playing against each other in Russia. Everybody knew he was going to be a star, Yager says. Nate Latt brings you the full story on FoxSportsMidwest.com. Tarasenko got to play with many great players over in the KHL, including Ilya Kovalchuk. And uh, his good buddy, Viktor Tikhanov, the former... Coyote's first round pick and the son of the great Victor Tikhanov. And by the way, with that assist by Bullmeister, he now is up to 30 points. And Darren the Blues now with nine players with 30 or more points. That is tops in the NHL. That is some balanced scoring for the Blues. Nine twenty left here in the third period. Blues goals from Steen and Morrow. Puck comes around for Steen, now for Schwartz. And he'll dump it in. Spinning off a check is Steen, now Yager gets it back. And he delays and a little toe drag around Steen who may have gotten a stick yeah. from Yager. Yeah, the tip of the blade of Yager's nine-foot twig got it right in the <laughs> chicklets, it looked like. And now Eliash 
barking at David Backus at the Blues bench. That's right near you, Bernie, as the Devils sent it in front. Yes, they were yelling at each other, Elias and Backus. And Backus just said, what are you going to do? <laughs> That's the play-by-play, -play, Johnny. At least the G-rated play-by-play. <laughs> yes. As Green fires to center right. Zajac was going off on the line change. And it slides back to Polak, now on for Oshie. And he gains the red line and makes the smart dump in. Schneider to play one for Fain. And then Ryder to center ice for Henrique. Three Blues are back. Now all five. That's tipped wide by Cole. And then Ian Cole will pitch work one ahead for Tarasenko. Good. And spins off the Henrique check. Or rather, Bourbon, and gets it in deep. Long stretch pass to Klo, and he'll jam it back to the Blues goal. Nothing fancy for the Blues at this point with a 2-0 lead. Now Tarasenko for Sabotka. And he wheels wide to the front. Trying to jam it in on the short side and a good save by Schneider. And then Sabotka again in front. Good shot. And that's wide of the target. Maybe tipped by a devil player. And then Derek Roy. Good hustle to hold that in. Great shift by Sabotka, though. He's taking the buck towards the net. And then he and Zidlitsky. Go head to head as Zidlitsky goes for a line change. And then if, I'm, I'm not mistaken, I think Zidlitsky patted him on the shin pads. And Jackman pounds it down the ice. That will be an icing call against the Blues. Well, in order to score goals in the NHL, you got to drive to the net. And our Mazda drive to the net replay is going to be number 10, Brendan Morrow. I mean, this is going to be a save by the goaltender. Bowmeister knows it. He's trying to put it in an area, hoping for some help. He gets it from Brendan Morrow. And this puck is going high and then gets deflected down low. Morrow played last year with Yarmir Yager. In fact, Morrow was on the same line for a little bit of time with Jamie Benn and Yager. And uh, certainly learned an awful lot about the game and uh, the training habits of Yager, which is pretty well documented and pretty interesting. And Salvador blasted in. Well, Hitchcock said before the game, we need some more pop from our fourth line tonight. And they get it with that power play goal. Now Fane with an arrest shot. Blocked by Shattenkirk. And off the boards and out. And then Schwartz runs it down the wall. And the doubles have to go all the way back in their own zone with 6.40 left in the third period. Blues are in Carolina Friday, then back home Saturday against Nashville. Dean at the line. What a play by Andy Green breaking that up. You can see that the defensemen, as we mentioned before, they're, they're on the go now. They're playing the clock, the Devils are. Veteran defenseman Scott Stevens running their D. He's telling them to get up the ice. He pucks in, pinch. So the Blues have to be very aware of odd man breaks going the other way. Now it is Bowmeister for Petrangelo. And that sails to the Devil line. And recovered by Dinah Zubris. Now Green for Josephson, and then back for Green. And then off Bruner's stick, recovered by Polak. And he was tripped by Bruner, and a penalty there. As he got the stick right in the skates of big Roman Polak. And it looks like the Blues will go back to the power play after the power play goal by Morrow. Well, with Bruner in the penalty box, it's time now for tonight's check replay. Brought to you by BMO Harris Bank, led by the captain, David Backus. Starts it off defensively right off the hop in this game, then on Salvador. And then Klo initiating contact there on Ian Cole. Salvador again in the trenches for the New Jersey Devils. Hard hitting, tight checking affair here at Scott Trade. And Bruder is gone for tripping. The Blues one for three on the power play. And they control the face off to Shattenkirk. Very patiently. Deals it across to Stewart. Stewart fires it. That's wide by a couple of feet and off the glass and back to center ice. Now Shattenkirk hard pass to Bergman. Quickly into Stewart. Well, Chankoff hammers it back the other way. Stewart in front. Wide open is Morrow, but he can make a play to Bergman. Good idea, though. And the Devils throw it high to center ice. Long pass for Stewart. That's off the mark. Schneider plays it, no icing. Now Stewart down low. Gets some support there from Bergman. The puck comes free. And it's Volchenkov 
On to center ice to Zajac. Up the middle. Trying to split the defense. He almost did, but then Petrangel knocked it away. And now Stewart away to the races. In with Bacchus. A minute five to go in the power play. Here's Petrangelo. And then Bacchus canceled back on the goal by Fane. Bowmeister comes in. But now the Devils control it. And drilled around by Zubris. At the line, it's Petrangelo. That bounced on him, and the Blues have to regroup at center ice. And then Bowmeister again. Late on the power play. Off a stick. Punched back to center by Fane. And then Gianta almost got around Bowmeister, but then Shattenkirk supports his partner. And he was spun around and stolen by Gianta. And a drive, and that was wide as Gianta almost had a shorthanded goal. And he's been dangerous on the kill tonight. I like how aggressive Yara was on that play, though. From a goaltender's point of view, there's only one play for Gianta to fire that puck because he's out of gas. So go out and challenge him, and he did that. Forced him wide. And now Bacchus goes wide with a dozen seconds left in Bruner's minor. And it's all jammed up to the right of Schneider. Bacchus gets it free now for Steen. In tight quarters. And then Oshie follows up for Bacchus. To Steen. Can't get a shot. Bruner is back. The Blues no shots on that power play. And then a hit in the corner on Bacchus. I think they'll shake off. And Bacchus is hot. And he goes after Volchenkov. Uh, but Oshie got taken down behind. I think that was Adam Henrique. Every time there's a scrum and Oshie goes down, I can't help but think back to that game in Columbus when he turned over the ankle in that scrum. But here he's, he's, he was really defending back, is trying to make sure that it was only Volchenkov that goes near him and, and not another guy in Henrik. So he was trying to balance out Adam Henrik, who in his rookie season got to take part in six games in the Stanley Cup Finals. Quite an experience for that young man. Today. Hit there by Volchenkov. Not highly explosive right there, but from behind anyway. Bacchus goes down. Volchenkov on top of him, and that's what ends up that scrum right there. Well, stay tuned for Missouri Lottery Blues Live with Pat Paris and my partner Darren Pang. We'll look at Bergman's new line. Yager's last trip to St. Louis, could it be? And Hitch at the podium. All of that and more on the post-game show, Missouri Lottery Blues Live. And Bernie Federko with some one-on-one -on -one insider information with interviews. How did I forget about that? Now it's Schwartz Bernie? in for Sabuka. Insider. Insider, yes. yes. If your throat holds up, I'm sure it will. <laughs> nice. Now it's Schwartz. He's been grinding it out. Luckily, he got a lot of protein with those 95-ounce bone-in ribeyes in New York City. <laughs> exactly. You won't let that go, will you? <laughs> Well, Yager down the boards. Puck to the line. Now across for Jelena. And he waits. Tipped toward the goal by Zajac. That was just off the mark. And then Jackman gets it all the way down. No icing here with 2.45 left in regulation time. And the Blues leading 2 to nothing. Long pass all the way behind the Blues goal. Along puts it on the glass. You never know. They could pull Schneider. Now he goes off just as I say that. Six attackers. Devils in front. Great poke check there by Halak. And then a shot wide by Eliash. Or rather, Klo. And Klo gets it. To the line, a shot by Green. Saved by Halak. And then another save on Ryder by Halak. Got his blocker on it. Net is empty. Payarvi gloves it to LaPierre. And at the empty net. And he scores! And there's a scratch behind the play. That's Polak involved. And then respectfully stops the bout because Roman Polak was in a bad spot. Empty net goal by Max Lapierre. Off the good play by Magnus Payarvi with no stick. Payarvi swats it with his glove. Roman Polak, not a happy check as he goes off. Happy about the win, not happy about the scrap afterwards. Again, New Jersey can't score for their goalie. At the other end, Yarrow Halak. Something you don't see very often. A straight-ahead poke check there by this Slovak. They will be going to the Olympics again. And then there's a scrap right here, and this uppercut right here by Klo. 
Knocks Roman down. Flow stops the scrap. That's all she wrote. But the empty netter by Lapierre is seventh. And the Blues lead 3 0. And some sweet revenge for the Blues after last week's 7 1 loss in Jersey. And this goes down the ice. Schneider. What's the movement? Gets it by Brendan Morrow. The Blues entering play tonight. One point behind Chicago with three games in hand. And the Blackhawks in Calgary tonight. And five games left now before the break. And Ken Hitchcock not afraid to say before this game. Six games left. Focus on the six. Let's catch Chicago. Let's let's be the division leaders heading into the Olympic break. Hey, Harvey and Bergman get the assist on the goal by Lapierre. And a drive by Carter wide. And kept in by Volchenkov. And now Morrow battles in the corner. There's Carter spinning off Petrangelo's check. The Bernier one-timer blocked by Bomeister. And now Bomeister will settle it. And with a minute to go in this game, he gets it out. And Lapierre at the bench. Now Stewart goes after Bernier. And he gives him a couple of rights after Bernier had taken a shot at a Blues player, I think Morrow. And Stewart's right in the middle of that. And we get bodies flying everywhere here. It was actually uh, Bernier gave Lapierre a really dangerous shot here along the boards. And that's yeah. why Stewart came in, guys. Two former members of the Vancouver Canucks. Everybody okay down there, Bernie? Everybody's fine. Looked like Shattenkirk was motioning towards somebody with... No, uh, everybody is. Lapierre's at the bottom of the pile here, but he looks like he's okay. Here. Looks like Bernier's still shoving away, though, at it. Remember when the Blues had that offer sheet to Bernier? After the Vancouver Canucks had that offer sheet to Bacchus. So a little bit of push right there against Carter. Bernier goes in and gives him a cross check from behind. Stewart's right there, so he goes right in. He makes sure he takes care of that. Carter then and Bacchus wrapped up. Lapierre comes over and gets a stinky leather mitt over Bernier. And good for Stewart to jump in there. Absolutely, John. Absolutely. Congratulations to... Ken Hitchcock here, most wins, Blues coach all time. There's Coach Q with 307, Brian Sutter, Andy Murray, Scotty Bowman, and this will be Ken Hitchcock's 108th victory with the St. Louis Blues. Yes, a couple of games ago, he tied Jacques Demers with 106, and now at the last two wins at 108. And the legendary Bowman is next on his list as far as Blues wins. So all of this with 49 seconds left in the third period. And the Blues about to win their 36th game of the year. And you know what? The Jersey Devils are going to have a power play. And that's the shame about this because the original shot, and you know, you, it's hard for the referees to see that, but the original shot was the Bernier push on Lapierre, which should have been a penalty. Now the retaliation was Stewart, and that's where the extra two is coming. So it's, it's kind of a shame that that's the only one we've seen. Well, Lapierre's first whack was on Carter and Bernie. Yeah, yeah. And, and then, yeah. And then Bernie went over and gave a. Yeah, and it was a real, it was a back. real dangerous cross check from behind too, though, Panger. Wow. And the Blues win the faceoff and chip it out. Devils 0 for 3 in the power play and five shots total. And now in the final 30 seconds, Zubers gets in there. In front, and then turned away by Shattenkirk with a good play. And he gets it all the way down the ice. The former Pee Wee New Jersey Devil player, Kevin Shattenkirk. Here comes Josephson, drops it off. Supposed to hoist it the other way. And under 12 to go. As Jaro Halak about to pick up another shutout. Has 19 in his Blues career. And he gets another one as 
the Blues win it 3 0. And he got some help from that guy, Vera Jackman, who had a heck of a game defending as well. Jackman did a good job down below, especially against Yager. Steen scores the first goal of the game, which ends up being the game winner. Morrow scores a key power play goal to make it 2 0. But Yaroslav Halak, the difference in goal. And he has got himself on a roll. Rumors? What rumors? It is 20th <laughs> shutout as a blue. That is the Blues' all-time record. Now four ahead of Mr. Goalie, Glenn Hall.